773, can I box him into the wall? Imagine you're in the passenger seat of a police car, and this is your view. News cameraman Michael Sleet is confronted with his terrifying spectacle one night in Phoenix, Arizona. It was a big lump in my throat. He's riding along with Officer Tim Mason of the Arizona Department of Public Safety, shooting footage for a local newscast. I commonly go out with different law enforcement agencies, literally trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Suddenly, an all-points bulletin turns a routine patrol into a wild and dangerous manhunt. They're in pursuit of an armed robbery suspect who is also just committed a carjacking, and apparently he's escaped from prison. And uh, that was the beginning of uh, probably one of the most exciting chases I've ever been in. The suspect in the pickup truck is armed and considered extremely dangerous. If someone didn't intervene, he was going to kill somebody. After speeding ahead of the fugitive, Officer Mason deploys stop sticks. They use these stop sticks to deflate the tires. The person driving has to slow down. There's a sharp quill in the stop stick that will puncture the tire, letting the air out slowly so they don't have a blowout and crash. The spikes hit their target. Okay, I just spiked the rear right tire of that vehicle. We are now in pursuit. But the pickup barrels on, now skating on three rims. 773, would you advise their units if they move over to the right again, I may be able to spike him again. Seven, seven, three, all his tires are out. Okay, I just spiked his vehicle again. I knocked out the second rear tire. Apparently, I didn't get it the first time. Now, all four tires are shredded. But riding on rims doesn't phase this felon. And there's a good reason. Police say both the suspect and his passenger are sky high on a variety of drugs. But he is pushing all kinds of dope into his wrist right now. And the only thing more dangerous than an armed robber is an armed robber who's out of his mind. He just threw out a syringe. This was a dangerous person. I mean, even though the vehicle's not going fast, you still have a person in there that's hyped up on drugs. Um, you know, who knows what he's going to do. He got it back under control. He's continuing southbound real slow. OK, he's going to lose it right here. There he's going. He's going. There he goes. Oh. But the suspect somehow maintains control until now. Police have kept their distance, but then the driver makes a move that forces them to close in. He's getting on the freeway the wrong way. Officer Mason has no choice. He has to take drastic action. 773, can I box him into the wall? He gets the go-ahead to stop the drug-crazed suspect in his tracks. I knew at that moment we were going head-to-head -head with this guy. Now free to catch up to the suspect, Officer Mason utilizes the pit maneuver. His cruiser pushes the vehicle to the shoulder, and another cruiser pins in the driver. With all the spark and smokes coming up over the hood, I thought his vehicle was actually going to roll. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! For Michael Sleep, the takedown is the most frightening part of the whole chase. Knowing that at any time he can reach down and point a gun and shoot either one of us, yeah, that was, uh, was a scary moment. Both suspects are taken into custody without further incident. Fortunately, no one is seriously injured. But high-speed pursuits like this account for an average of 300 deaths per year, posing one of the greatest threats to travelers on America's roads.